from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. A national shortage of poll workers has not impacted Henrico County. And an update on a literacy program Henrico schools officials have been using for the past two years. We'll tell you about those stories and more in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Thursday, November 3rd, 2022. It's brought to you today by the law firm of Barnes & Deal. And now for the news. Election Day is coming up on Tuesday, but if you're like many folks in the county and elsewhere, you may have already cast your ballot. The rise in early voting has continued this year, and it has prompted Henrico Registrar Mark Coakley and his team to adapt to it this new prolonged voting process. Unlike more than half of the jurisdictions nationally that reported difficulty obtaining enough poll workers, according to the U.S. Election Assistance Commission, and RICO has found more than enough. Coakley told the citizen they've even had to turn some people away this year. The county has a group of early voting workers who work six to eight hours for 45 days, and then another team that works on Election Day. There are 12 to 14 different jobs required at each polling site on Election Day, including checking in voters, designating the ballots, and handing out stickers. You can read much more about some of the -the behind-the-scenes efforts of the volunteers in the Registrar's Office right now at HenricoCitizen.com. Henrico County Public Schools employs 52 reading specialists, 30 of whom are serving in Title I schools all with the goal of ensuring that students are able to read on or above their grade level by the third grade. It's part of the Life Ready Literacy Program, which the school system introduced in the fall of 2020. The program focuses on giving students access to a significant variety of diverse texts through digital libraries as well as intervention for students and student groups that are not reading at their grade level. Director of School Quality, Anne-Marie Seeley, discussed the program last week with the school board at its work session. You can read more about the program and what Seeley had to say right now on our website, HenricoCitizen.com, by clicking under News and then Education. A couple homes in Henrico recently sold for a million dollars or more. You can find out where they were and view some other recent property transactions right now on our website in our weekly property transactions report. Visit HenricoCitizen.com, click under News, and then Property Transactions. Well, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration added Adderall to its drug shortage website last month, and doctors say that Virginia patients being treated for ADHD are feeling that impact. The shortage is due to manufacturing delays and insufficient supplies to meet market demands, according to the FDA. The Virginia Board of Pharmacy is cautioning consumers about the risk of purchasing drugs online or through social media from, quote, rogue outlets, end quote that prey on increased demand during drug shortages. Right now on HenricoCitizen.com, you can read some in-depth coverage of this topic from our partners at the Capitol News Service. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Barnes & Deal. Barnes & Deal has emerged as a highly respected family law firm over the past three decades with the resources, skills, and experience necessary to handle high-asset divorces and other complex family law matters across Virginia. To learn more, visit barnesfamilylaw.com, that's B-A-R-N-E-S, or call 796-1000.